Tell the world it's rumpage time. Down, 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 down. I just can't get enough. Darby Allen took on Cole Carter. This match was shite. Oh, aye, it was. We're here. We're in the Indiana Farmer Coliseum, 2nd of December. We're in the, the Christmas month. What a year. We've got Tony Schiavone, Excalibur, Jim Ross. On commentary, we've got the Stinger with Sting, the icon Sting, 63-year-old Sting, wishing Darby Allen well for his match here. I don't even know who Cole Carter is, so of course Darby Allen's going to win. I hate Darby Allen's style in the ring, right? See all these moves that he does? He, like, he, he jumps, but he doesn't use his arms, so he falls like a fucking a, a body, a dead, a dead body, or, or he falls... He, he just falls like a tool. Like, he just falls with a guy. You look at him, you look the way he falls, and you just know he's missing one or two chromosomes. It's as simple as that. Stinger should be in the world title picture, not spoon-feeding some wee windy liquor on AEW that's got the belt of a fucking Ethiopian on a hunger strike. I, I've said my piece. Of course he wins. Fucking sucked. Don't need to say anything else about the match. All right? We got a problem with it. Go fuck yourself. Next up with Renee Young talking with Keith Lee. Renee Young wants to know what's going on with Lee and Swerve. And then, ho oh, ho, some guy appears. I can't even remember his name. He was that pish. And Keith Lee's like, hey, you are my tag team partner. Because I'm very monotone. And then his tag team partner was making this weird moaning noise in the background. And I'm like, what's going on? Mm, mm. Don't understand what was going on. But whatever happened is... We've got Taylor challenging Lee to a tag match. That's his name, Taylor. Don't understand really what was going on here because who, who's the ta who's the title match between? Tag match between? Uh, I was that focused on Keith Lee's boring personality, man. I was fucking hanging. But then Renee Young's like, ah, I'm out in the ring here now and welcomes the acclaim to the ring. Bones, that jobber, says the acclaimed are fighting champions. And there's a tag team that's been waiting a while for their wee shot, and this was obviously kind of not a dig like, but it was a, a mention of the Ass Boys. Does it get any gayer than the Ass Boys and the fact that one of them is actually gay and likes scissors? No, I'm not 100% um, sure, to be honest, but we then have Jeff Jarrett and uh, Jay Lethal with Sonjay Dot, and uh, this is like the most Poundland faction you'll ever get. In your uh, life, Daddy Ass then takes the mic. What a name, Daddy Ass. And uh, he basically says that both teams wants the best team. They don't want any jobbers. They want the best team. And who's the best team in all elite wrestling? It is FT. No, it's no FTR. I only know who the best team in this company is, right? Because this company sucks. FTR, you've got a guy, we, we talked about it in Dynamite, you've a guy in Docs Harwood who they just think is so much better than the other guy, but in reality, they both fucking suck. And I can smell shit, brother. And it's FTR, we've got the shovel with the shotgun. What's going on? FTR, suck. Do not care about this. Do not care about this match. But, oh, Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett are taking on Private Party. Um, I, I mean, why is Jeff Jarrett on Rampage wrestling? Jeff, I, why? Why is he? Why is he? Why is he? Why is he, Jeff? Fucking hell. I thought only I thought only sad virgins talked about wrestling. What's going on here? Um, <laughs> Aye, private party. Why is Jeff Jarrett on Rampage? This guy should be great. This guy should be challenging for the world title, right? The guy should be. It's fucking Jeff Jarrett. My world, my world. Da, na, na. Not... Yeah, I want to take on 73-year-old Ric Flair, sucker. No, nah, sucks, right? And of course, Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett win this match. We then have Athena taking on Danny Moe in the battle of the fucking jobbers here. Do not care about this match. Athena defeats Danny. Of course, she's going to... I don't even know who... Who, who is Danny Moe? Danny Moe just sounds like an absolute bum, man, honestly. And then the best friends are backstage and... They've got Lumberjack, they're, they're, they're actually dressed up as Lumberjacks, and we've got Danhausen, who apparently was involved in a hit and run. I don't know if, uh, Rampage, of course, is taped. I don't know if this was before or after <laughs> he got run over, like, but uh, he's, still, no, he's still on the show for a guy that sucked. And we had the All-Atlantic title, Lumberjack match, Oren Cassidy taking on 
Key to Marshall, a lot of people at ringside. Again, like I talked about Darby Allen, I hate the in-ring style of Orange Cassidy. It absolutely fucking sucks. There is no two ways you can spin it. QT Marshall, an absolute bum, an absolute jobber. I just do not care about this guy. One, two, bit. One, two, bit? One, two, bit, man. Of course, we've got the diamond cutter in there. Eve again, he has to use DDP's move, K2 Marshall, because he sucks. But the Orange Punch, a guy called Orange Cassidy with the move Orange Punch, and people wonder why wrestling in 2022 is considered for the fat fucking nerdy bastards that never leave their mother's basements. That is exhibit A of why it is. Orange Cassidy wins, and I, he is still your AW All Atlantic champion. I hate having to refuse this shite. Thankfully, I'm not the one to have to refuse SmackDown, but at least SmackDown's got the bloodline, right? What does Rampage have? Rampage has two piles of dog shit, right? One may have less, one may have more, but at the end of the day, what are they? Two piles of dog shit. That's what Dynamite and that's what Rampage is. So I'm going to give this show a big fat fucking zero. And until next time, peace. peace. Oh, yeah.